Weathering and Erosion Explained Hey there, explorers! Have you ever wondered how mountains are formed, or why rivers change their paths? It's all thanks to some amazing natural processes called weathering and erosion. These forces are constantly shaping the Earth's surface, bit by bit, every single day. Weathering is like Earth's natural sculptor. It's the process that breaks down rocks into smaller pieces. Imagine a big, solid rock. Over time, weathering weakens it, cracks it, and eventually turns it into tiny bits of sand and soil. There are two main types of weathering, physical and chemical. Let's explore them. Physical weathering is all about breaking rocks without changing what they're made of. Think of it like smashing an ice cube. It's still water, just in smaller pieces. One common type of physical weathering is freeze-thaw. Water gets into cracks in rocks, freezes, and expands. When water freezes, it takes up more space. This expansion pushes the rock apart, making the cracks bigger and bigger until the rock eventually breaks. Another type is abrasion. This happens when rocks bump and grind against each other, like in a riverbed. Over time, this constant rubbing wears the rocks down, making them smoother and smaller. It's like nature's sandpaper. Chemical weathering is different. It changes the chemical makeup of the rock. Think of it like baking a cake. You mix ingredients together, and they change into something completely new. One example is oxidation, which happens when iron in rocks reacts with oxygen in the air or water. This creates rust, which weakens the rock. Another type is acid rain. Rainwater can mix with pollutants in the air, forming weak acids. These acids can dissolve certain types of rocks, like limestone, over time. It's like the rock is slowly melting away. Now that we know how rocks break down, let's talk about what happens next. That's where erosion comes in. Erosion is the movement of weathered materials from one place to another. It's like Earth's delivery service. Wind, water, ice, and even gravity can act as agents of erosion, carrying away bits of rock and soil. Water is a powerful agent of erosion. Rivers can carve deep canyons over millions of years. Think of the Grand Canyon, it was formed by the Colorado River, slowly eroding the rock over a very long time. Rainwater can also cause erosion. When it flows over the land, it picks up soil and carries it away. This is called runoff, and it can lead to gullies and other landforms. Wind is another important agent of erosion, especially in deserts. It can pick up sand and dust and carry it for long distances. Over time, wind erosion can create sand dunes and other interesting landforms, it's like nature's sandblaster. Ice, in the form of glaciers, is a very powerful agent of erosion. Glaciers are huge rivers of ice that slowly move across the land. As they move, they grind and scrape the rocks beneath them, carving out valleys and carrying away huge amounts of sediment. Gravity also plays a role in erosion. It pulls rocks and soil downhill, causing landslides and rockfalls. These events can happen quickly and dramatically, especially in mountainous areas. Weathering and erosion work together to shape the Earth's surface. Weathering breaks down the rocks, and erosion carries the pieces away. Without weathering, there would be no soil for plants to grow in. Without erosion, mountains would just keep getting taller and taller. These processes are essential for creating the landscapes we see around us. Humans can also affect weathering and erosion. Construction, deforestation, and agriculture can all increase the rate of erosion. For example, removing trees can expose the soil to wind and rain, leading to increased erosion. It's important to be aware of our impact on these natural processes and take steps to minimize our negative effects. We can help protect our planet by planting trees, reducing pollution, and using sustainable farming practices. By understanding weathering and erosion, we can better appreciate the dynamic nature of our Earth and work to protect it for future generations. So, next time you see a mountain, a river, or a sandy beach, remember the powerful forces of weathering and erosion that shape them. Keep exploring!